hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Ako Yvette in the building okay so in today's video guys i want to just give some advice to secondary school students out there even to university students even to myself and all the students all over the world watching me right now okay so before i start i want to first of all welcome all my subbies thank you so much for coming back and for those that are watching me for the very first time this is Ako Yvette a channel that is meant about um it's meant all about educational stuffs accounting or uh, other subjects little advice to secondary school students and other students out there all right so in today's video like i said i'm going to i just want to give a little advice to our set like to all the students all over the world all right school has started especially i'm saying this giving this advice especially to cameroonians those that and especially those that pass or failed the GCE, the GCE. Okay, so the Cameroon GCE came out, and if you watch some of my like, there's one of my videos that I actually made mentioning like I did I did a video mentioning the names of school that has hundred percent. If you like, you have like Sacred Heart, Mancon, you have like Our Lady of Lords, you have like some other other schools that i forgotten the name they have 100 percent and a school like sacred heart has 100 percent both in advanced level and o level yeah the same thing with a lady of lord so if you watch that video like this year i can tell you that so many a greater percentage of students made it even people that were in the house for how many years for their phages for me they actually made it by the special grace of god so this year was not just it was not that bad it was not that bad yes so i want to tell you that if you if you fail if you fail gce last year it's not because you're dull it's not because you're dull there are only two things either you did not read well or maybe you did not answer the questions well so this year i will urge you to put in your best put in your best all right you can see how devastating it was for you that failed hc or for the family that had a child that failed hc you can see how painful it is when the gce came out and everybody was shouting because a lot of people passed a lot of people passed so for you to fail it made your family to be so sad or you yourself you were so sad all right so you saw how it de devastating it was for you to fail the gc and make your family not to be happy or make yourself not to be happy so this year i want to really really encourage you and there are some things i want to tell you first i want to tell you that as you repeat that class or maybe you failed advanced level or ordinary level let me tell you if you put it in mind that you already know because of course the things they are going to be teaching you are things they have taught you before there are things you have in your book you have the books you have the economics you have the accounting you have the uh, commerce and finance and so on and so forth you have everything so of course whatever they are going to be teaching you these are things you already have but i want to advise you put it in your mind that assume that you know nothing assume that if you really want to make it because let me tell you whenever you fail gce there's a possibility that you can fail again why is it that because so many students when they fail they assume that they already know sometimes some of them don't even go to class if they are teaching demand and supply to them why am i going to class they taught me demand and supply I already have in my book i know that thing so why am i going to skip class today i'll skip school today because they are teaching demand and supply and i already have in my book i have in my textbook they taught us before so if you already that possibility for you to fail again yes it's high because you already have it in mind that you know but let me tell you if you really want to make it this year okay and bring and bring gladness to your family and happiness to your family please please assume that you don't know if possible buy new books use your old books when you want to read or refer to something yes so how if possible yes guys so use your old books when you want to refer or check out something don't assume that you know because if you have that assumption that you know guys there's a possibility that you can fail again there's a high possibility that you can fail again so please be very very careful as an old student that you're repeating the GC advanced level or ordinary level please or you're repeating any exam at all please assume that you don't know so that as you sit in class you will concentrate and then you get more knowledge added to the one that you know that is the first thing don't assume that you know. Assume that you know nothing. And this is going to help you. The second thing is, please, sit and think back. What was my mistake? Why was I wrong? Is it because I had so many friends I was working with? Is it because I wasn't reading? Is it because... Try to flashbacks. Try to think. 
sit and think of what went wrong. This is going to help you a lot. It might be difficult for you to trace the particular angle where you went wrong, but it will help you because if out of three things, you can at least trace one side that you made a wrong decision. Maybe because of friends. Let me tell you, excuse me, let me tell you, when you failed and maybe your friend had like four papers or advanced level, your friend did not come and say, okay, come, let me give you two papers, advanced level. And you, let me give you two papers and have two papers so we can all, because you're my friend, so we can all pass. No, it doesn't work that way. All right. Some of your friends were even laughing at you behind and you didn't know. And these are the very people that you sacrifice your education. You sacrifice. You do not read because you're going out with, with them. You want to go and do this. You want to go and enjoy. You want to go and drink. You want to go and dance. You sacrifice all these things. And at the end of the day, what happened? You cried. You were crying. You were, you were devastated. So please. Yes, guys. So please. Please. If another thing is that make Google and you to be your friend. Make Google and YouTube your friend. It's going to help you a lot. All right, this is going to help you a lot because there are no matter the subject that you're facing difficulties in, no matter the topic, no matter what, Google and YouTube will always give you the answers. Like I've not seen any subject, be it math, history, chemistry, whatever. Go on YouTube and type. You're going to see a lot of videos that are going to help you out. I know that here in Cameroon, data is very very expensive. We don't have free Wi-Fi. But if you don't have that uh, data to go on YouTube because it's very consuming, <clears throat> you can, 100 francs can help you to go on Google and do a research, do a summary, and then that is going to help you. Alright? So, don't just have an Android phone and all you do is WhatsApp, checking how many likes you have on Facebook, posting pictures on Facebook, and so on and so forth. I, if some of you were behaving like that and you were acting as you see, I hope you can see the results. I hope you can see the result of all the time being on whatsapp all the time being on facebook when you know there is time for everything guys there is time for everything there is time for no matter how good something is there is time for that thing yes you cannot say okay because food is good or uh, fufu corn is good you're walking on the road and you're eating a fufu corn or you're walking on the road you're eating a chew because you say fufu corn is uh, or a chew is nice you know that you have to be in the house and you Eat. You, you don't have to be walking along the road and eating a chew of fuku or holding a plate of rice and eating and, and walking and going to work. Everything has a time. So if you know that you're writing GCE, I'm not saying that all these things are bad because there are people that can actually control it. Yes. So, but make sure that you understand your timing in whatever you do. If you're a student, be a student. If you have an Android phone, it's not all the time that you be on WhatsApp. It's not all the time. Everybody on Facebook is your friend. If not, that Facebook has limited it to 5,000 unless you have a page or a group. If you, you just an individual account, you are limited to have 5,000. I'm sure most students will accept like the whole world as their friends on Facebook. When you know that, that is going to distract you. Those people you have accepted, especially the Indian and the Chinese people. <laughs> Some of them will come after me <laughs> in this video. They will call somebody, they will test. Where do you people where do you people have the time for all of these things? So please, I'm begging you, make YouTube and Google your friend. So it's data is expensive, but sometimes like MTN offers from 12 midnight to 6 a.m. MTN offers 200 2G. So if you can actually prepare yourself and say, okay, during weekends, I will put 200 and then rest do my things in the afternoon have a good rest then around 12 I, I i i get to put that 200 activate the data and then i download these videos on this subject or on this topic that is disturbing me on this demand and supply on this population that is disturbing me or on this balance sheet or on this bank reconciliation statement that is disturbing me so that i can listen to it and learn it will be very very good so please these are just the three tips i have for you there are other tips Yes, but I just want you to add these three to it. So let's see how it works out. For those that failed the GCE, first thing, please, don't assume that you know. Forget about what you knew last year. Forget about it. Like I said, if possible, buy a new book. Secondly, secondly, please sit and think back where you went wrong. Is it because you were not reading? Is it because you were working too much? Is it because of too much friends? Is it because you did not tackle a question? Where is it because you lack interpretation of questions? Try to sit back and think where you went wrong. At least you, you might not get hundred percent of it, but you can try to get like thirty five percent of it. It's going to help you. Yes, and the last thing is make Google and YouTube your friend. This is going to help you a lot. Just try these three tips, guys, and add it to the ones you know. Let's see how it goes. I really wish you all the best, all the students that 
failed advanced level and ordinary level i i this year i just i wish you the best and i pray that as you do this you add these three tips to whatever tips you already know let god help you so that you should make it all right so thank you so so much guys for watching if you find this videos interesting please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment at the comment section all right if you haven't sub as a new newbie please subscribe to this channel please do me a favor and share this video to your social media platform whatsapp facebook instagram twitter whatever social media platform you are share my videos all right so that you can help someone out there all right i'm a student as well and i'm saying what i have applied and it's actually working for me Alright, so thank you so, so much for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.